be spliced to the star bracket using the same procedures as the main cable. Route, splice and store fibers on tray and install tray cover. The tray can be locked in the up position by using the red kickstand feature. Similarly for A and B closures, a tray prop is provided. Note one of the benefits of hinging trays is the ability to route buffer tubes directly to the tray in the event of fiber breakage or if insufficient slack is available. Secure tray to basket using Velcro strap. Note on ribbon cable routing. Central core tube ribbon cable preparation is very similar to that of loose buffer tube cable. We recommend bending the center tang of the strength member attachment away from the cable to accommodate the central core tube. Also, note how the cable strength members are attached to the outer two tangs. For storing ribbon slack, we recommend the use of the slack storage basket. If no slack storage is present, see the closure installation instructions for further detail. 5. Route Splice and Store Fibers There are several splice trays available for the FOSS 450 closures. Most closures have options for both single and ribbon splice trays. Refer to your installation instructions for additional information regarding fiber routing and storage on these trays. Note the single fiber C and D splice trays are horizontally placed splice modules which allow fiber to easily route and store along the outside edge of these trays while the A and B style FOSS splice trays use vertically oriented modules which may require the fibers to be stored in the ends, edges or along the center of the tray. Ribbon trays have special splice module orientations as shown here. 6. Install the gel block. The gel block seals the cable's entry into the closure's base. Open the gel block by squeezing the clip end. This exposes the slots into which each cable or multi-cable group will be placed. The slots nearest the hinge will hold the loop-through cable in most installations. As the gel block is being positioned between the cables, add the spacer to the star bracket and gel block as shown. Close the gel block and snap it together. Slide the base up and around the gel block. It's important to note the base must be aligned properly to fit the star bracket. Be sure to orient it to the proper position, slide the base onto the gel block and star bracket and secure. If grounding is used, connect the previously installed ground wires from the cables to the ground wires in the base. Add highly visible yellow port plugs to all unused ports. Grasp the gel block tail and move it to a position to allow access for tightening. Twist the tail until it can't be turned anymore or until it hits the built-in stop. You can use a screwdriver or similar device placed through the hole in the tail to make it easier to turn. If necessary, a wrench can be placed on the gel block to tighten. When the tail is tightened, the compressed gel fills the voids between the cables, plugs and base to create an airtight, watertight seal. 7. Seal the closure and test the seal. Verify that the O-ring is seated properly. Slide the dome over the tray end of the closure. Where applicable, make sure the arrows on the base and dome align. Once the dome is seated on the base, attach the clamp. And using the lever foot on the latching mechanism to create leverage, close the clamp. If the clamp dome or O-rings is out of position, it will be extremely difficult or impossible to close the clamp. It will be a snug fit 
if all components are positioned correctly. A tie wrap or small lock can be installed through the hole in the latch for security if necessary. For closures with valve to domes, pressurize the closure to 5 psi and perform a flash test, checking for leaks. Once the check is complete, release the pressure. Adding cables. One of the benefits of the FOSS 450 closures is the reusable gel block. To add cables after the original installation, just open the closure, loosen the gel block, remove the gel block and base from the star bracket, feed the new cable through the base, attach it to the star bracket, and reseal the closure. Summary. This concludes the FOSS 450 Fiber Optic Splice Closure Training video. During this video, we've shown you the steps to install a FOSS 450 Fiber Optic Splice Closure. Additional video segments providing specific details on other closure aspects may be included with this video as well. Please review those segments as needed. If you have additional questions, feel free to call your Tyco Electronics salesperson or field support personnel. They'll be glad to assist you. Thanks for watching. Yeah.